Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're first time here, my name is Maya. Maya Luna Corazon is my channel, it's my YouTube channel, and all social media is run by this name. Today, I'm sharing you the second episode of this Magdalena top with bell sleeve, and it's gonna be the last episode because you're gonna learn how to make this complete top. And before we go there, I want to share with you a little bit of my living room here where I live, a small space and here is a painting from my husband if you wonder where I got all the inspiration from I got it from nature and the way we live just minimalistic <laughs> and the colors and this magical little thing in our home all right let's get started So today is very, very cloudy. I kind of like the weather like this also because it's very nice and not that hot. But it's also a little cool. I wanted to film here on this couch I wanted to film here I don't know how long do I have because my husband is still painting and I thought we're going home and so I can do the second part of the top but now that he's still painting so I'm gonna try to film here so here is two pieces and before we connect it together I just want to make sure this is the first row where we start and this is the last row so the last row where you still have the yarn this is the first piece I made and I have um, leave the tail of the yarn quite long because I was planning to use a single crochet to attach both parts but maybe I would just use the yarn needle because I got my new yarn needle and I really love it and this is second part I have not cut yet from the skin so I just want you to make sure that this the last row will be the edge of the top and this is a neckline your first row is going to be a neckline and your last, your last row is going to be the end of the top and when you got these two pieces, these two panels we're going to attach the body part together and to do that, you're just going to have to find okay, here again, because I cannot my equipment is not that high, the camera so as you can see here is the neckline so your first piece you put it down and the second piece on top of it have to make sure that the neckline and the neckline is together right and now from the neckline here when we got the neckline here from the inside I would suggest you to to saw two part from the inside out so the outside I put facing the outside you know this is gonna be inside where you wear the shirt so the outside will facing each other and now my neckline is here because I just turned the top around from the neckline you will use a measurement tab and you're gonna measure down seven inches I would suggest you to to have seven inches to be able to have the same result as me so you're gonna measure seven inches from the neckline down here and you got here already then you will put the stitch marker so here first how I do is I just put like this and I see seven inches it's just here so I add the stitch marker to both sides 
but then I also count again how many shell one two three four five six seven just from this side one two three four five six seven I count again under so not to miss one two three four five six seven great now we got this side now we're gonna do the same this time we don't need this anymore we're gonna do the same now we got the line and this is our side right so I'm gonna do again to count to make sure one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six seven all right now because this is a neckline we can uh, do the neck later I show you now we're gonna saw this part from the bottom up here together you can either use the hook and make like um, a single crochet I did that actually I did uh, two single crochet now I, maybe I show you how I do the first top because I wanted to show you my new yarn needle because I think it's very cool but actually I like the stitch of um, I say of the single crochet to the side body all right so how I do just simple I chain one and then in here in this chain space I mean in this space I put the hook there and I do the same the other piece just take the yarn single crochet see and I do two times in this space because the space is quite big and then I go to the next space I don't do in the between stitch because I already put this two so I think it's enough so I go here and again I add a single crochet like so and I will do along the reason that I like this um, single crochet to connect is because when you make mistake I like the stitch the look of the stitch and also when you make mistake it's very easy to redo it again for me but if you find the other way to connect is better for you just follow your instinct do what it good what feel good for you this is just my way of working so you're gonna continue and repeat this step until you reach to the stitch marker and then to the stitch marker in this one I'm gonna put one slip stitch in there Like this and I chain one. Now I'm gonna cut the yarn. And now I have chain one and cut the yarn. I'm gonna do the same the other side. And again, this is just my way of connecting. You can do anywhere you like. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing like I did here. Alright, until I arrive to the slip stitch. And now I have finished this side as well. This is the body part. Now we're gonna turn it up. So many voices today. Train, helicopter, I'm sorry. But I just don't want to wait any longer. I want to finish this piece for you guys. And now we're gonna do the, uh, uh, the, the shoulder part. Uh, here the shoulder part I didn't leave this yarn long enough but it doesn't matter here with the shoulder part you can take this you see at the corner here I like it to be a little off shoulder 
So I just gonna connect from here until let's see how maybe just until here. Alright. Okay, so at the corner you put the hook in both sides. Do it here. You need some yarn. I'm just gonna do with um, single crochet again because I like single crochet. So I'm just gonna slip stitch first and I'm just gonna do a single crochet. And again, you can do anywhere you want. Just gonna put in here. single crochet and in this chain space this chain space I just put one single crochet here and then this chain space is big enough so I will put two single crochet inside and then again here and this this chain over here you just kind of find a hole to poke the needle in Again here. Don't have to be super neat, but it's good to align with the back side as well. Like that. I think my first top I just make this much. But this one is just gonna put a little bit closer inside. So I'm gonna add more another two more of the single crochet. Alright, so I have this one as a slip stitch and then one more here, slip stitch here and then I have one and then inside this I have two and then one on top of this double crochet, one on top of this double crochet and then this big chain space I put two of the single crochet then I chain one, I'm gonna cut the yarn and I'm gonna do the same the other side to create the neckline this is my neck to make the neckline. Just gonna do the same here as well until here. All right, this is neckline, both sides. You see, now we're done. So this, you have a top look like this. Your top is done <laughs> without the sleeve. Now we're gonna add the sleeve. I turn it over like now is the outside this is the side that where you will you will wear it's outside so that you don't see the seam and see the seam I like to do a sleeve from the outside but you can do anywhere you want and now we're gonna make the sleeve see this is the armhole you're gonna slip stitch here at the back like this hole I like to to work from the back side like this to make a first round see like this and for the other side we do the same now we're just gonna find the back side you know back front so this is my back side and I'm going to slip stitch here here this small hole to create the first row of the sleeve and you're gonna find here is a seam right I'm just gonna poke the hook there and I'm just gonna do a slip not slip stitch when I do slip stitch like this I count this as one so we're gonna chain another two but if we do another way around just when slip stitch then you put three chain and from here we're gonna do 72 of half double crochet all right around here 72 of half double crochet so we're going to my tip is in this big chain space I'm gonna put two half double crochet inside One. and in in the between row I'm just gonna put one half double crochet inside 
and this is how you're going to do you add two half double crochet in each of the row the end of the row you see this is like a big big chain space you put two half double crochet in that big chain space and one half double crochet in the between row like this one is called between row or if you do another way it's fine just do which way you like but you just have to make sure that in the end you will have 72 of half double crochet don't do more and don't do less just have to be precise so here is my tip two half double crochet in the big chain space and one half double crochet in the between rows and you just repeat these steps until you got to the end which is here here you must have 72 half double crochet I'll meet you there okay so I have made a couple times of redoing and undoing and redoing again because when I arrive here I have more than 36 half double crochet and obviously you need to have 36 this side and 36 the other side to have a total of 72 half double crochet so I do it again so you might consider to count carefully like when I say to you inside here you put two half double crochet and one half double crochet between the row it's not always like that so when you see that you have already almost 36 half double crochet or more than 36 when you arrive here is meaning that this side is too much so some of the stitch I skip to be able to have 36 half double crochet so just make sure that you make 36 half double crochet only so as I said in here you can put two and between you can put one and some of the between you don't have to put at all just to make sure that you have 36 half double crochet this side and I will skip here in the, in the seam and I will go here directly so this side 36 and this side 36 in total of 72 and when you arrive here you will join with the third chain of the beginning chain of the beginning chain and this is how you finish the first row and I will continue it later because now it's raining and here is very loud we have a train non-stop coming and going and I will continue it later hey so now I'm home sorry for the loud voice from the train I just watched the video that I filmed yesterday again and it was really loud okay so now i have this side of 36 half double crochet i'm gonna continue this part of 36 half double crochet until i get here and i will have 72 half double crochet and i will continue with you from there so now i arrive here and i got 72 half double crochet i'm going to slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain very tight all right so we're done with the first row the second row we're going to chain three and in the same stitch here we're going to add two double crochet in there And then we're gonna skip the next two. We're gonna skip the next two chain and we're gonna add double crochet into the next one. See, we skip two and then we add one double crochet and then we add another double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're gonna skip two and we're gonna add three double crochet into the next one. Actually, it's pretty much like the body part if you remember how to do the three double crochet in the next chain 
and then we're gonna add another three double crochet into the next one this is a pattern actually this is what we're going to repeat so from here you're going to skip another two chain here another two stitch here and then you're gonna add one double crochet to the next one and then you add another one double crochet to the next one as well like so and again you're gonna skip the two chain now you're gonna just repeat here you see two and then you skip two you add three double crochet into the next and then the next one three double crochet and then you're gonna skip two then you're gonna do the same over and over again until you reach the end of the row This is pretty much the pattern. So you keep doing this and I will meet you at the end of the row. This is row two, like so. Just keep doing that. Okay, so now we're finishing this second row. So I'm gonna slip stitch. The last, the last one I have, I will add in the last stitch with three double crochet, and then we're gonna slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain. Like so now we're gonna chain three. This chain three count as one double crochet. Now we're going to skip these two, one, two, we're gonna skip these two. And we're gonna add three double crochet in this on the top of this pole. You see it's again repeating the body part. Every time you see this pole individually, like this one is a one double crochet, right? You're gonna add three double crochet on top of that. And the next one as well, this one, because it's alone, <laughs> you're gonna add three double crochet into that stitch as well. And then you're gonna skip two stitch, you're gonna skip one, two, and then you're gonna add one double crochet. And then next to it, you add one double crochet. And again, you're going to skip one, two, and then you're going to meet this individual double crochet there alone. Then again, you're going to add three double crochet here and three double crochet here. And this is pretty much the pattern of this row. You're going to repeat these steps around until you reach the beginning of the row you see again you skip two And the next one right next to it. I hope you understand the stitch by now and you keep repeating this until you arrive at the end before slip stitch to the beginning row and I meet you there. So now I come to the last almost there you see and I'm gonna skip two 
and I'm gonna add one double crochet here then I'm gonna slip stitch into the third chain this one of the beginning chain and then we have complete row three now row four chain three then we can add in the same stitch here I have to see one two three one two three mm. I think I make a little mistake that chain not that one so I have to be this one All right, okay. And chain three. And in this same chain space here, this one over here, gonna add two double crochet there. The chain three here we count as one double crochet. So in the same chain space there we add two. So that now we have three, you see here, like so. Now we're gonna skip two, one, two, and we're gonna add one double crochet there. And next to it, we're gonna add another double crochet. And again, we're going to skip two and then we arrive here again, the individual of the double crochet. Then we're going to add three double crochet here. And then three double crochet into the next one. Then you're gonna skip two and we're gonna add one double crochet. And again next to it we add one double crochet. And this is the pattern you're going to repeat this step. See? Now you're gonna skip two and you're gonna meet this individual again. You're gonna add three double crochet here, three double crochet here, skip two. One double crochet, one double crochet, skip two, and then you're gonna meet here again. So you're pretty much repeating again and again, like so. And this is the pattern of the sleeve. And when you arrive to the beginning of the row, I meet you there and I will explain to you how to complete this sleeve because when you got this row until row four, you will know that you just have to repeat row three and row four as long as you want to create the sleeve. And this design, the sleeve is go until the elbow for my size, I made the first piece 19 rows. And that is what I'm going to do the same with this, with this piece as well, because this is the size small, size XS. So just repeat that and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Okay, now I'm at the end of row four this two then I'm gonna skip two and I'm gonna add three double crochet the last stitch so you must have the same <laughs> the same stitch as me because we have 72 half double crochet in row one the same and now you're gonna slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain and that's it row four has made 
And now you're going to repeat row 3 and row 4 for the pattern. As I mentioned before, I'm going to make a total of 19 rows for the sleeve. And if you want to do this exactly the same with me, go ahead and do that. And when you got 19 rows, you will cut the yarn, chain one and cut the yarn, and then you web the yarn in later on. And then you're just going to repeat all the steps in this sleeve as well. The same as many rows as, as you did in the first sleeve. And you're done with this top. And when I finish all the steps, I will see you there and share with you a picture of me wearing this top. Hey, so I'm on the last row and today I'm very happy because I really want to publish this for you and I have so many things in hand as you all know already if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook group then you know that I have so many projects going on. Today we are going to Berlin and before we leave the house I really want to finish this for you. Have a look, it's so beautiful, right? I have one more row here to go. I'm on the row of 18. And I was thinking, why not I just crochet with you? So I hope you are finishing or uh, at least crochet along with me in this second episode. I'm sorry that it takes a long time if you follow me on social media you know that i also do another work i am a guided meditation practitioner and also i hold the space for women's circle shamanic journey so when i travel i also offer those work along and now that i'm home and the sun is shining in my room as you can see it's light over here <laughs> and yeah i'm just gonna do this last row with you then i gonna share with you also my yarn needle that i discovered from the last yarn shop visit because i went to buy a new yarn for the flower of life top for my friends for the woman i met and yeah i want to show you this quick i have a new tattoo we did um, exchange, she gave me a tattoo, this is like a hand poke tattoo and then I make her a top plus with some extra abundance for her because it's like um, yeah I feel so precious and I would like to give something in return to her as well. Alright let's continue this one. Let me know in the comment below if you enjoy this pattern so far. I am sorry if my voice yesterday was a little bit tired. I also filmed this part like three days. I think three days or four days. I think more like three days. The first day I was still in mines and I did um close to the train rail and it was very loud and very sorry for that and the second day was yesterday when I finally really have time to work on the sleeve and I was working on it last night till 2 3 o'clock I think 2 30 this morning I was like early early to wake up and I want to finish this piece for you guys and publish it before Berlin journey and I hope I can film some um, I film something along the way when we drive there to share with you as well if you are interested just comment below if you like to see my trip in Berlin just comment below that you would love to see and if you like me to also show you I don't know if I have time to go to the yarn shop in Berlin and it's always dangerous <laughs> when I go to the yarn shop I just didn't find a way out but I have to say the last yarn shop not the video that I posted here there's a, another yarn shop that I went to in Mines to just pick up some yarn for the piece that I have to make within 24 hours actually I spent 10 hours on that piece um, that yarn shop is amazing it's amazing because I think I really love the 
the lana grossa like the colors and also the material like they have different kind of um material to offer like they have natural material and also they have like um vegan option and i really like the color theme that lana grossa come up with i have one yarn that i love so much um i hope i can put the photo somewhere around here for you and i think i'm gonna do something with that yarn in my next project also i'm still waiting for more yarn to come as i am working now with the company that i will design something using the yarn i will tell you more about that later when i got the yarn in my hand yeah i so let me know in comment below how do you like this design and if you already start do you enjoy this chel stitch i love love it and have you able to make it without look at the video again because i think after a few rows you'll be able to just automatically by heart to crochet this piece just like me i feel like this design is one of my favorite design ever these stitches because it's just so beautiful and make it way so nicely and the way is you know moving is this and each row it's just so beautiful and i can see this design to be a skirt and also a scarf and many things as like blanket thing like that i would love to make blanket one day but i don't know when can i do that because i think to make blanket you take you need some time and i always in um middle of a design or have to do something else but i really love to make a blanket and if i have time i would like to try the what do you call that stitch webby stitch i think that's the name for it look very psychedelic and i think it's very cool as a blanket or bed cover have you made also blanket? Can you comment below and let me know what is your favorite stitch for the blanket? Maybe I'll have a look and maybe with your guidance, I can also find my way or my time to make a blanket. You can also leave your Instagram page in the comment below i would like to visit your page on instagram and let connect also on instagram and on facebook and if you're not part of our facebook group which is very excited to be there because <laughs> i'm always there every single day also on instagram but on facebook group you can also post what you have made and learned from me and this way um let me see yes and this way i can see your your pieces your what you make i think it's very nice to be able to see what you made from my design instagram is very good as well because you can see my current project and i think many people are using instagram now because instagram is the best platform for visual um connection and also now they have a uh, ig uh, ig instagram tv i have not been so active on that i just post two video but i wish to have more time to connect with you there so yeah come to connect with me to find me on social media and be part of our community i would love to see you and hear from you and see what you made what you have learned from my video so i know that someone really watching my video and really make it happen you know because that is what pay off my my time to know that you are learning something you are taking something with you and you're able to make it and able to wear it and feel beautiful from what you're making from your own hands that is the best thing that make my day you know yeah i finished it let me see i hope i don't skip anything because often when i talk and make i might skip something one two three all right 
chain one. Every time I finish the last row, I chain one and cut the yarn. And before I cut the yarn, I actually count again if I have 19 rows and not skip anything. And yes, I have 19 rows. I already count. And here is the finished piece of this Magdalena top in green. Woohoo! I love it. You see? The thing is nice with the jean. I make some photo. But before I go, before I gonna wave all this yarn in, I wanted to tell you about my new love. I wanted to tell you about this. You see? um the yarn needle is this so cool i mean very cool no maybe you're already using it but for me it's something new and i bought it from the yarn shop i went to get a yarn and it came with it's come with three size three sizes here you can see and there's a big one this size medium one and you see the hook here is very easy for those who are having problem to put the yarn inside because like this um, this is the medium one I'm I have not used the big and I have not used the largest one and the medium one I use the smallest one because um the yarn is quite small and you can just put it so easy <laughs> was a great invention so i will have a look if i can find this also the link for you to purchase it if you want but i bought it on the yarn shop the local yarn shop i think i paid about this is from lana grossa i think i paid about 2.95 or something i don't remember and this is my favorite season at the moment i have um wait, i have two of them this one from thailand i got it from thailand i think you can get also you can get also an amazon because many people ask me where do i get my season and this one i got is from amazon i like this one because it's chafter but when i travel i need this thing because it's my gonna just try my back okay my friends I'm just going to wear all the end, the excess yarn in and cut that I don't need and I'm just going to take a photo for you. So here is the result and I just love it so much. I never think that I would love this shade of green. I'm more likely in the darker green. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, click like if you like this video, share with your friends and click little bell next to the subscribe box so you make sure that you receive the notification when I post a new video. Thank you so much for being here and I see you next time. Enjoy, stay generous and beautiful as you are. Bye bye.